Stardew just got an epic update, so in this video we'll be going over major updates that you can expect including a new world area, farm features, multiplayer updates, character updates, and much more. So if you're excited, hit that like button and let's get started. So update 1.5 dropped for PC players on the 22nd, but don't worry if you're playing on the console because the game plans to update you in 2021, but if you are playing on PC, here's what you can expect right now. First, let's talk about multiplayer. In this this new update, you can expect a local co-op feature that allows you to experience some of the same multiplayer gameplay that you would normally, and the best part is, is that they do not have to have their own copy of the game to play with you. In order to get this started, you're going to have to go to Robin and ask her to build a cabin on your farm. Once she's completed building it, you can then begin your co-op gameplay with up to three people. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you do plan on starting a new save, there's actually some new character creation options for you in the advanced game options that will allow you to customize your playthrough of the game. The community center bundles and mine rewards can be remixed which randomizes what you get. And uh, while we're on the topic of starting a new game, there's some new hairstyles in there for you too. Next for the big updates is a new farm called Beach Farm, so if you're starting over that is definitely something to look forward to. While there's plenty of opportunity for doing some fishing and foraging as well as getting lucky and finding a rare supply crate, the land is covered in soil that may make it a bit difficult for you to farm as the sand clogs up your sprinklers and you will not be able to use them. Concerned Ape actually encouraged newer Stardew players to utilize the other farms before testing out Beach Farm due to its uniqueness. And uh, since we're on the topic of farms, let's move on to new farm features and oh my gosh, the segues are on point today. So besides the new Beach Farm, we're getting ostriches as a farm animal. The greenhouse can now move with Robin's help. You can now remove your beds or move your beds. The original shipping bin can be moved or removed. You can now paint your farmhouses and buildings. Slimes drink in random order on the hutch troughs and coop animals can follow adults around and uh, ducks can swim in the water. Now, if that wasn't enough for you, we have a new world area to explore. Ginger Island, part of the Fern Islands, is a part of this update and has a bunch of new locations games, characters, quests, and more to explore. New NPCs include Leo, who gets his own backstory, plotline, and events. Without any parents, Leo claims the parrots of the island are his family, and he'll be shy to you at first, but after becoming friends with him by giving the parrots of the island golden walnuts a new item from the update, he'll actually move to the main area of Stardew. There's also some secondary NPCs, including Birdie, Gorman Frog, and Professor Snail, and along with new friends comes uh, new enemies, including the Hothead Lava Lurk stick bug and many more. There's also some new creatures including crabs, monkeys, butterflies, and gem birds, which actually drop gems when approached. And in addition to this, there's an unlockable island farm and farmhouse area where you can plant crops no matter the season. Now besides the new creatures and items you can find on the island, overall there's a bunch of new items added to this update as well as crops, trees, machines, food, fertilizer, furniture, and much more. And on top of that, one of the coolest but more minor details is that you can now change your name and gender by visiting the wizard's basement shrine, which is awesome. And I'm so glad they decided to add this in, even though I'm sure a lot of us will be starting over so we can experience the new beach farm. Regardless of how long we've been playing, I'm glad that we can now have the option to change our character like this in case we decide to change our mind later on down the line. And uh, I mean, it might come in handy if you're looking to spawn some certain items, wink, wink. So what's your favorite part of this update? There's a lot to unpack. So if you'd like me to make more videos on Stardew Valley, let me know in the comments down below and I'll take a closer look at more of the minor updates to this game. Now I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming content and uh, I will see you in the next video.